Have you ever had a freeze-dried powder that gets clumpy or goes bad? Oftentimes this happens because the seeds inside of fruit hold on to moisture after freeze-drying. Then after you package them, they release that moisture back into the food. We make a lot of freeze-dried powders. We do tomatoes, lemons, strawberries, pretty much everything. And recently we found a way to do it even better. Our biggest issue was seeds being left in our powder after blending, but we heard there was another blender that can solve that for us, so we got a Vitamix. As I was pulling it out of the box, it definitely looked nice, but nothing was really standing out to me. Until I went to get the motor out and I could hardly lift it up out of the box, this thing is pretty serious. It also came with a recipe book, which was pretty cool, and the quick start guide was extremely helpful for me since this isn't like any blender I've had before. I pulled the plastic off, ran the wash cycle on it, and then my wife wanted to test it out with a smoothie. It took us a minute to get used to the controls, but by the time we were done, we had a perfectly smooth smoothie. This didn't feel like a homemade smoothie, it felt like I went to a smoothie shop. It was great. But I really wanted to test a freeze-dried batch with this, so I loaded some tomatoes into this bad chicken to see how it blended those seeds up. After blending, there was no seeds left, it was just perfectly smooth tomato. And then after freeze-drying and blending it again, it gave us the most consistent, powdery, perfect tomato powder we've ever had. This is a freeze-drying game-changer. And if you want to get one for yourself, I've got a link in my bio.